Hey, Adrian. Um, hey, Adrian. I, you know, one thing that you guys have done well um, over the couple of years with, with Matt is not um, lose back-to-back -back games. So um, what's been the key for you guys rebounding and, and making sure that doesn't happen again? Um, we can't let one game beat us twice. We have to go out there and um, we have to make the corrections early in the week and um, move on to the next game. Um, yeah, figure out, you know, what, you know, what we did today that was wrong, um, how we start, we started slow and, and things like that. Um, yeah, we just got to regroup, rebound and, and get, get on to the next one. All right, next we're going to go to Tom Silverstein of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Go ahead, Tom. Adrian, can you kind of um, go through what your mindset is as some of this is going on? Because you, I, I'm sure you felt, and you said it going in, that you guys felt good about your defense. And, and then these things are kind of snow, snowballing along the way. What, what were you thinking? How, what was your mindset like? Um, keep plugging away. I still, I still have the utmost confidence in our defense. Um, and, and we're going to regroup and, and, and do, um, do better this week. We're going to um, get back to our assignments, see what we, see what we messed up. Um, you know, a lot of things where um, we was giving up too many yards on first and second down, um, giving them, you know, third and shorts and, and things like that. But we're going to see more and more uh, come um, game time. I may come uh, tomorrow watching the film, tomorrow and the next day watching film and, we're going to get those corrections handled, and I still have the utmost confidence. All right, next we're going to go to Rachel Hopmeyer. Rachel, go ahead. Thanks, Tom. Hey, Adrian, what would you say was the biggest challenge in trying to contain Alvin Kamara? Um, well, we, we we really just didn't stop them like on, on early downs at all um, this game, and um, you know. Uh, some things where um, some were out of gaps and um, little things here and there. It, it can be one person that mess up every play um, that could, um, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that could be the reason where they're, where they're getting a long game and stuff like that. So, um, you know, he's a great player and, and, and they're a great team. Um, but we have to look at ourselves and look at where we, um, where we, you know, we were doing things where, we, we want to make them beat us, not, you know, beat ourselves in certain situations. All right. Next, we will go to Rob Reichel. Go ahead. Hey, Adrian, can you hear me? Yeah. So time of possession in that first half was about 22 minutes to eight. You know, I, in that heat, I guess, just how tough was it, um, you know, from, from your standpoint on, as a defensive guy, just how frustrating was it, I guess, that, that you guys just couldn't get off the field? Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's, that's, you know, that, that, that plays a factor um, with us not getting off, but it's our fault that we're not getting off. So, um, you know, we brought that on ourselves by, by not getting off on, on third down. And, and a lot of that, like I said before, is us not doing well enough on first and second down. Um, to get off the field. So when you have hot games like this, humid, um, you know, the, the humidity out there, uh, with it being a, a, the first game of the season, those compounding factors, when, when we don't get ourselves off on, on third down, um, getting getting three and outs, getting takeaways and things like that, we, we make the job harder on ourselves. All right, next, let's go to Jason Wilde. Jason, go ahead. Adrian, I, I understand that this is an easy second guess, and I'm for keeping guys safe in preseason too, but is there any chance that you guys with a new coordinator and a new system maybe could have used some game action before this, or do you think that didn't factor in? Oh, no, I'm not even worried about that. That's, you know, we're not, we're not going back and playing. So that, that's, you know, we, we have to move on. We, we played our first game. And um, we just moving on, moving on and, um, you know, moving to the second game of the year. All right, next we're gonna go to Kyle of WFRV TV. Kyle, go ahead. Hey, you got me? Yep. What did you see from Zadaria Smith's roughing the passer on Jameis Winston that took away that interception? Um, I didn't even really see it. I, I didn't um, see it. I, I saw the flag and everything, but I didn't. Um, you know, I didn't really get a good look at the uh, replay up on the board. All right, next we go back to Tom of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Tom, go ahead. Hey, Adrian, I can think, I think I'm maybe four of the five touchdowns that 
Winston through, there looked like there was some miscommunication or maybe, you know, um, just a little bit. I know on the um, one of the tight end where you were in coverage, I can't imagine that was your guy. Um, you know, Chandon looked back on the one, like, where was my help on the other? Uh, Kevin King, I can't imagine was supposed to be one-on-one -on -one deep there. What, what was going on? Are there just some things that, you know, guys have to iron out in terms of assignment wise? Well, um, yeah, I mean, we won't get back to the film and see, see uh, where we could be better. It's a lot of things that um, we do need to correct. Um, you know, we, we, you know, we're not into, you know, pointing things or who had what, um, you know, we just got to make, you know, make, make our plays and um, we have to communicate. We have to, um, be on our assignments. We just have to be all around better. It's not, we can't just pinpoint um, one or two things this game, you know, obviously you see the score, there's a lot that went wrong. Um, there, there's a lot that went wrong, a lot that we can correct and a lot of easy things to correct. So uh, it's not, you know, this is not a game where, you know, obviously I'm upset that we lost the game and, um, but it's nothing that, you know, I'm not hanging my head or anything like that. It's just something that we know we, we need to work and we need to um, get to work and be better. All right, next we're going to go to Bill Huber. Bill, go ahead. Hey, Adrian. Um, obviously, yep, Adrian, you guys obviously come into the season um, with high hopes and, and optimism with the, with the coordinator change and all that. Um, to, with what happened today, does, do, you, do you question any of that? Or are you still um, fully believing that, that you guys got the answers there? I mean, if you, know, if you jump ship after one game, you didn't really believe, did you? You know what I'm saying? So it's not it's not a um, it's not a question of anything like that. Um, you know, it, we have a 17 games now and a 17 game season. And um, one game is not going to you know change my opinion on, you know, the play call or uh, defense or anything like that. All right. We'll next go back to Rob Reichel. Go ahead, Rob. Hey, Adrian, your head coach just uh, said to the other media room that the Saints absolutely embarrassed you guys today. You know, did, did he have that kind of same message for you guys in the locker room? And I, I guess, you know, do you kind of leave Jacksonville right now feeling embarrassed? Um, you know, he, when you're a competitor that, you know, losing is embarrassing. Um, and then losing, losing that way um, is, but it's not, not something that, you know, I'm, you know, hiding under a trash bag or anything like that. Um, you know, one thing we got to do is keep our head, you know, heads tall. Then we just got to know what we got to correct and get to work. Um, uh, the message really is to um, not let one game beat us twice. You know, not not hang our head around this. Um, keep our confidence high, but at the same time, we got to know, you know, what work we got to get to the, get done. All right. Next, we'll go to Rachel Hopmeyer. Rachel, go ahead. Hey, Adrian, um, I know you don't want to get into specific one-off plays, but I know a big thing with this defense is communication and being on the same page. You're not on the wrong page if you're on the same page. Did you at least feel like you guys were all on the same page today, even if things didn't go your way? Was communication, you know, united or not? Um, for the most part, but um, wanting to be the defense that we want to be, we have to, you know, be on the same page 100% of the time. So there, there was, you know, certain things, certain plays at certain times where uh, we could be better and we will be better.